Hello everybody, I am uh, Santi Swarup Vege. I am the director of the Multidisciplinary Pancreatic Clinic at the Mayo Clinic. Uh, incidentally, I would like to tell you too that Mayo Clinic has been voted as the number one medical institution in the country just a few days ago by the US News and World Report, as some of you must be aware of. I am going to uh, speak to you a little bit about chronic pancreatitis, which is a very common disabling condition due to severe incapacitating abdominal pain and these people may also have deficiency of pancreatic enzymes so that they don't digest their food and they have diarrhea and they can also have deficiency of insulin that the pancreas produces and they can become diabetic and they can also have complications of bile duct obstruction due to this process in the head of the pancreas and uh, surrounding organs too in other words this is a very disabling condition quite common. One of the main reasons why people get this is because of excessive drinking and there are various other factors like some of the genetic abnormalities and so on and so forth. But the problem is once these people have this disease it is a huge economic burden to the country as well as uh, incapacitating health to the patient and once again we spend millions and millions of dollars on this uh, particular disease and I would uh, think that these patients with this diagnosis, first of all, many times the diagnosis is missed and they are being diagnosed as irritable bowel syndrome or other chronic abdominal conditions. So to make a proper diagnosis and after making a proper diagnosis to give them the right type of treatment so that they have a good quality of life and some of the life-threatening complications are prevented, including pancreatic cancer, which can be one of the complications of this disease. This disease. They actually have four times the risk of a general population to get pancreatic cancer. So they need to really go to a multidisciplinary pancreatic clinic where you have physicians with expertise in pancreatic diseases, surgeons, radiologists, pathologists, interventional endoscopists, interventional radiologists, all having a special expertise in pancreatic uh, disease. We are fortunate to be part of one of the world's most renowned and busiest multidisciplinary pancreatic clinics. I am not saying this. This is what other pancreatic experts in the country and outside the country say this about us. And here we have a very special focus on chronic pancreatitis. A, to diagnose with endoscopic ultrasound, special MRIs called secretin MRCP and the CT scans. And then once we diagnose for their pain, we can treat them with an endoscopic treatment where we can put stents or tubes into the pancreatic duct and we can also do some type of uh, surgical procedures which can range from drainage of the obstructed pancreatic tube into the intestinal tract to partial or total removal of the pancreas. Sometimes when we remove the whole pancreas because they become diabetic, we are taking away all insulin producing cells, you have to extract those cells and put them back into the liver called islet cell autotransplantation. We are, have the facilities to do that also. There are very few centers in the country doing that. And we are very judicious in doing this islet cell transplant. That's why we don't have huge numbers like some of the other institutions because we are very rigorous in choosing a patient who actually deserves this patient. So the numbers that we do are far fewer than other centers, but we do have the capability to do it in the most state-of-the-art uh, way. And all the people that I mentioned in the, in the field, whether they're endoscopists, radiologists, uh, surgeons, pancreatologists, they are all leaders in the field in the world. So for these various reasons, if somebody has chronic pancreatitis already diagnosed or a physician or a patient is having suspicion it could be chronic pancreatitis and need con confirmation by diagnosis, this probably is one of the best places to come. And uh, uh, we keep following these patients to once they come uh, so that their complications, quality of life are kept to the best possible way. So that's what I have to say about chronic pancreatitis and thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you.